what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we have a $2,300 box of mystery beater sneakers now I've done a few videos before where I've had like mystery boxes from this place called soul steals that's essentially where this box came from now we'll talk about soul steals here in a minute but essentially this is a sneaker mystery box for $2,300 in here could be I think for the most part it's gonna be used I'm not sure if it's gonna be used or new but I reached out to soul steals they let me purchase a box this was not gifted to me I purchased this box and so today we're gonna see what we can do some of my favorite mystery boxes have been from Stole Steals, so I'm excited to see what we have because typically they can put together a really good box. Now, I hope everybody is being safe. I just want to check in with everybody, make sure we're staying home, we're staying healthy. As you can see, I'm being affected with my hair by this because I can't get my barber out to me. My hair is getting extra long, so hopefully this doesn't go too, too much longer. Georgia just shut down for uh, up till May 14th, so I'm kind of screwed without Erica for another month. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll have to try it myself, but I know my barber would literally kill me if I cut my own hair. We're gonna get ready to unbox this. If you guys haven't seen what's going on, we have a mystery box giveaway happening right now at Kicks TW. When that is over, we're giving away a pair of Travis Scott 270s unreleased these aren't even out yet you can get a pair early so that's gonna be coming up soon hopefully you guys are ready for that i hope everybody's doing good and let's just open this bad boy up let's get into it again shout out soul steals for making this happen and let's see what we got well first up the box was like kind of open you can see i can see a jordan 4 box in there right now now hopefully some of these are my size i really hope that that's the case all right let's open it up let's see let's just i'm gonna i'm not gonna look i'm gonna show you guys and let you peek and see if it's good all right, how are we looking? Decent? Probably can't see anything. Let's pull out, all right, got a couple boxes. Let's first see, let's pull out this Jordan 1 here. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and look at the size tag to save the whole surprise of what's in here. Looks like a smaller box, maybe a size eight. So let's see what we have, a nice pair of Jordan 1 shadows right here. I've actually had a few pairs of these, but this is a nice size. Ooh, it's a men's eight. If it was a women's eight, my girl could probably wear this, but check that out. I'm gonna get over here in front. The shadow is a really clean Jordan Jordan 1 because obviously the colors black gray and white are very easy to match things to I've had my own personal pair of these and they're pretty decent quality now value ugh, I gotta check these are going anywhere from 220 to 250 used now that's just quick browsing on grailed but clean shoe if this were my size I would wear and it comes with OGL and the extra laces we also got a nice shoe train room so they actually had them there's a price tag in here at 240 so that's kind of around where I assume they're at and let's keep moving there's one Jordan 1 shadow all right next I saw a Yeezy box but I don't, I think it was a D2. All right, there we go. So I see, I saw this one initially, Jordan 4 box. So let's see, I'm not gonna look actually. Let's go ahead and pull these out. We, ooh, check this out. It's a little bit right there. The Jordan 4 white cements. These are a very clean shoe and these are in my size. I have been wearing my Travis Scott 4s a lot more. So I can see myself throwing these on. 4s, 1s, and 11s are the ones that I mainly like, like to wear when it comes to Jordans. So these are a good one to maybe try to add and spice things up. These are used, but I just looked it up and it seems that they're, they're going for around 160 180 in really good condition so that's kind of we're gonna put those at we'll keep a counter up on the screen so you guys can see and we'll keep these to the side just so we can keep current let's keep moving Ooh, ah I think I just saw a revenge no 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 that's not a revenge I think I just saw this is an off-white box it feels small though I don't I want to wait for that let's pull this one out I, oh yes oh I shouldn't have looked at the tag but this plant flea market blazer mid I literally almost and they're dead stock I almost bought these from the sneaker store that I went to a few weeks ago but they did not have my size they're like a size 10 and these are a 10 and a half so essentially you guys can tell this is a nike blazer but they cut the top off it's like a multi-color this is like a crazy fabric here you have another yellow fabric here inside it's got like a kind of like a heat thing i guess i'm sure you guys are aware this is what a regular blazer looks like and this is what this one looks like so it's not a mid it's just like literally they cut the top off of it I honestly don't even know any of the materials on here. Like this is like a knitted weave right here. And you got like a furry like teddy bear on the inside. They just use some crazy materials. You got green laces. Found a pair on eBay for 640 bucks. I'm seeing size 10 and a half on GOAT from 400 to 500 bucks. So I guess we'll put them in there. Some are at like 350. Kind of hard to find value on these. But I'm a big fan of those. It's just different. And I've seen a couple of people wear these and you have to wear like pretty crazy outfit to pull these off. Those are sick. Blazer mid, CPFM right there, three pairs deep, and it looks like we have a good amount to go. I, I see a shoe without a box. I see, I kind of feel, it kind of feels like an off-white zoom fly. 
Oh no, it's a Nike React. This is one of the OG Nike React. This is the one that like kind of started the hype for the Nike React and then it kind of all went downhill and everybody stopped buying them essentially. But if you guys can't tell, it has like the see-through upper and this colorway is very clean. I think that's why it did so well off the jump. Now this is a pretty used pair and a small size. We're looking at a size seven. See the other one, it's down below. Size seven, that is pretty worn. So we're gonna put these to the side. Gotta try to find a value on those. I feel like they went pretty high, but I think now they probably went down. Yeah, the Element 87, going for size 11 190 250 these are all with box size 7 350 that's kind of hard to price i feel like it's kind of around 280 i'll guess maybe 250 probably but yeah this is one of the most popular element 87 colorways and I i'm a big fan of it I actually i never bought this colorway i had other colorways so let's keep moving on and see we got a dunk box dunks are back let's see what it is size 8 a little small we have a midnight navy metallics oh no why are these not my size? Oh my gosh. I swear I was about to buy these like yesterday. Oh my, I'm mad. Well, I'm just gonna have to sell them and get my size. Dang, I think these are dead. Mm, I can't tell. Maybe the leather on the toe is just very soft, but like the bottom, bottom looks really good. It still has the OG laces. No, nah, these are used. I can kind of stick to suck. The bottoms are just really clean. Yeah, they're used. They just clean them. I don't know why I love this colorway so much. I think it's because it has this like hit of red right there. I think it just adds like, it adds something to it. And you have that nice buttery suede around there. Always oh, got to test it with the movement. Look at that. Man, you got the metallic swoosh. Ah, I love this shoe. I'm gonna buy my pair. I'm, I'm, I'm selling these and getting my size because I know when summer comes around, I will wear these so much. The profile of those is like super low. We'll put this aside. They had them at 200, I'd guess they're probably around there. Retail 110. They're not going too crazy on price, but I still like the way they look, so I'm gonna have to get a pair. I just traded a ton of my SBs too. All right, we got the off-white box. We got an easy box. We got a Jordan 1. We have these split Jordan 1s right here. Size 10, size 10. So if you guys aren't aware, they made two pairs of these. One's numbered, one's not, and the numbered pair is out of 2,300. Check that out. We have pair 1,568 out of 2,300. That's pretty solid right there. Now, if you could tell, on the inside you have the Chicago color, Chicago, Chicago colorway. The outside you have the bread colorway, and it's essentially just split down the middle. I'm not the biggest fan of this colorway just because I feel like it's a little bit out there for me, like what I like to wear. I'd rather have the breads and then have Chicago's, but that's me personally. And this is used. The value's got to be up there for the uh, numbered pair because the non-numbered is like two to three hundred bucks, I believe. So the numbered pair. Is Size 10 with box, obviously, and brand new, 725. The last sale was 460, so I would say these are probably around 325, maybe. I think right around there. Cool sneaker though, and these look like they're nicely worn to where they look broken in. I know a lot of these pairs that I've seen are really stiff, and I don't like how that looks. Size 10 on these, these are pretty sweet. The inside looks like super buttery leather, but it's kind of stiff actually. I thought it'd be a lot softer. We got six pairs. We got the SBs, we got the Blazers, the Jordan 1, Jordan 1 Reacts, the Jordan 4s. We got a good mix. Oh, we got four, four more shoes left. We have a size six and a half Yeezy right here. We have the Yeezy Tef for a size six and a half. Now these started going down in value that they released so many of the 700s. And I feel like they were go they're probably below retail now, especially a used pair. These are lightly used, but they released too many 700s in my opinion. And it, and it became to a point where it's like $300 retail is a lot to ask for a shoe when you're dropping them every week or two. And then people are just gonna be tired of buying them. Even if you like try to hype the colorway. So if I had to guess brand new, these are probably right around retail. It's a smaller size though. So it might be a little bit better. Six and a half going for, eh, it's last sale 320 so it's right around retail use this is probably worth right i'd say about retail for this use decent earth tone colorway i'm not a fan of the 700s anymore i like the og wave runners but past that i probably wouldn't get many all right let's move this to the side we have three shoes left yep three shoes let's pull these out they all look like smaller sizes we have an off-white we have an adidas and then we have an older jordan box let's see what jordan this is this is a jordan 13 retro size 8 white clover these are the Ray Allen Jordan 13s. Now, I will completely admit that I'm not the biggest Jordan 13 fan, but I can respect a sneaker because I know that these are a pretty expensive shoe. I believe, Ka I think it was Kais got his personal pair signed by Ray Allen himself at a sneaker con, which is really cool. I'm a big fan of that green and white. I think it's a really good contrast. These are a size eight, so not my size, but still bottoms are really clean right there. Check that out. 13s, I don't think I can pull off personally. That's my opinion, but I want to check the value on those because I mean, we're, getting, we're pretty solid right now. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> These are going for a lot. There is five pairs for sale on Grailed right now. Nine and a half, 1800, size nine, 900. There's no size eights for sale, but if I had to put these, I'd probably say they're probably worth about 750 to 900 bucks. That's crazy. I was not expecting that in the value. I know this is a rare shoe, but it's a smaller size, so I didn't know what to expect, but all right. All right, Soul Steel's giving me some stuff that I don't have. So let's keep going. And next we have a Yeezy Power Face size eight. This is the classic black. Now these are going for about, I don't know, around 50 to hundred dollars now i think yeah this is probably used they dropped a lot of these i've had a lot of pairs i found these in the thrift stores actually for about 50 to 80 bucks so i would assume it's a smaller size though so it might be a little bit better on grail they're starting at 27 bucks so yeah size eight and a half 27 doesn't have the box they're going for about sub 50 bucks probably worth around 50 to 80 dollars if i had to guess cool idea of a shoe the white one i remember when they went for a thousand dollars that was an l for some people but that was back in the original easy days but nonetheless still a really good silhouette one of my most worn shoes is a uh, power phase it's not an easy, but it's a power. So move on to the last shoe here. We have swoosh on the top. We have a Nike off white and let's see what we have. Smaller size. Let's see. Is, it, is something good? We have, ooh, the Vapor Max. This is a solid pair right here. This has a tag on it. Let's see what they had it at. 575 size 10. A little bit smaller than that. We have the zip tie. It has all the OG. I thought this was gonna be like a six. Size 10, Vapor Max. Vapor Max are a really good summer short shoe. I feel like this is really good because it's breathable. They're comfortable. You can do a lot of walking on them. And these are in actually really good condition right here. Check that out. Clear on the bottom. This is a solid one to top it off. I have no clue what our values are at, so I might have to kind of uh, do a roundup. It's gonna be on the screen. We're gonna do a roundup. I also got some stuff in from Supreme this week that I wanna show you guys. I bought some stuff from the Supreme Lambo collab. Let's go ahead. Let's check that out. Shout out again to Soul Steels for that box. Just putting something together while we're on quarantine. I really appreciate them doing that for me. I want to remind you guys about my website. I just did a whole little revamp. I have a whole new thing where I can take credit cards now. I ship internationally. If you guys didn't see me launch a few days ago, I'm going to be adding shoes that aren't my size from this box onto that website. HarrisonNeville.com again. And I added the code Mega Hypebeast for 10% off the website. I know with all this virus going on, it is not the most important thing. Your first priority is not to buy sneakers. But if by chance you save some money, you want to buy some stuff, go ahead and use that code. 10% off. So I want to help you guys out a little bit. Bit. Hope you guys can find some seals on there. We're gonna do this one in the living room, a little more open out here. So here is the box. It actually just came in yesterday. I've been buying a few on Supreme. Actually, this morning the Supreme Motion logo dropped. Let's open this up and see how we're looking. You can't tell what this is. This is the Supreme Lamborghini skate deck in orange. This is sick. Obviously, I say it every video, orange is my favorite color, but I do not own a Lamborghini. I own a car that has the same motor and chassis as Lamborghini, which being an Audi R8, it has this color on it. Now I grabbed this with the intention of not skateboarding it. I actually wanted to get it because I bought the three total. I bought the green one, the black one, and the orange one. The green and the black I had to buy off of stock X. And those are coming in. I got this one for retail, but I bought them with the intention when I move and get a house, I want to put them in the garage. I didn't want to get too much of the Lamborghini stuff because I feel like if I don't own a Lamborghini, I like I should it be wearing? I don't know. And then I got another thing that I already opened up, which was this beanie here. This is the Supreme Lamborghini beanie. This is a little bit more subtle. It's got the Supreme cursive on the front here, and then it's got the Lamborghini logo on the back in orange, of course, too. This one retailed at $38, so this is pretty cool. There's a common theme and a lot of stuff here, but I'm excited to get the other two in. I probably won't hang them up here. I'll probably wait. Retail was, it was like $83 after shipping. Two other ones that I bought ended up getting off of StockX for $100 a piece, so not too bad. I feel like I paid like $17 bucks of a retail. Wanted to show you guys this. I don't own a Lamborghini. I won in a Venador, but my girl has a specific opinion about Lamborghinis, so we're gonna come out and uh, let her see our newfound collab. My wife coming out. So do you like my new uh, Lamborghini board to match my Lamborghini, my Venador that I'm you getting? I don't have a Lamborghini. She does not want a Lamborghini. Too much of a flex, even though the R8 is essentially the same. But yeah, I just want to show you that quickly. Let's go uh, round it up with all the totals of everything in the stew. Check back in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Please stay safe during the quarantine and we're going to get through this, guys. I know this is probably stressful. A lot of people are losing their jobs. I'm very thankful for you guys to watch my video so I'm able to continue to do this and we're going to try our best to put out the best content possible. So if you have some stuff you want to see while we're at home, let me know in the comments down below. See you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.